Surely in a thousand years, we'll have learned how to travel faster than light, right? Well, then why in Futurama do they say this? This ship can do 99% light speed. Why are we going 35 miles an hour? As objects begin to approach light speed, weird things begin to happen. One of which is time begins to slow down. But why does time slow down? Well, it turns out space and time actually share a fixed amount of a resource, that being the speed of light. Let's say these two glasses represent space and time. The water will represent the fixed resource they share, AKA the speed of light. But if you're currently not moving, subscribe if you're not moving, then you have no water in your space glass and are therefore traveling through time at the speed of light right now. In contrast, if you start to speed up through space, the speed of light is a fixed resource. So now your time glass becomes more empty, meaning time starts slowing down for you until you get close enough to the speed of light through space and the total amount of water, AKA the speed of light, is an unbreakable certainty. And if you want a really easy way to win a Nobel Prize, explain why that limit exists.